Okay, earlier in our newscast, we did the story about um, the gentleman who, uh, who uh, cooked the steaks in his car because it's yeah. so hot in the summertime. And so, boom, here he is, just like that. Shabamo, Clay <laughs> Villanueva is in. And uh, you posted this video online um, because a lot of people always joke about it's so hot here, hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk. Exactly. Um, and you decided to go a little bit further with this. Why, Clay? Well, after being here for a lot of years in the summertime, and it is tremendously hot, a friend of mine who's a chef went to the Culinary Institute and all this stuff. I'm saying, hey, is this like, can we do this? Mm -hmm. He says, well, certainly, and the temperature's right and all this. I'm like, well, let's do it. And so I figured I'd do a test, and that's what the video is. It's the and test. here it is. We're yeah. looking at the video, and, and obviously you have it captioned, so you let us, you, you, every step of the way is documented. Exactly. So you used one of those like oven bake bags, and then you just used a pan. What did you put in there? Uh, six steaks and herbs and vegetables and you know just tried to make it like a really tasty mix. Now was your car new, Clay? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. Let's get to the bottom of this, Chris. Asking the tough question. A few years. And it, no, it doesn't have the new car smell anymore. That's what I was going to say. Maybe the steak has the new car taste to it. Exactly. Here's something I was impressed by, Clay, is um, you didn't just pick like those cheap flat steaks. You got some steaks that were pretty thick and they actually cooked. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of time. The temperature was right. It's all safe and cooked. And, and you guys ate it? Everything oh, was great. for two days. It was really? wonderful, yeah. Now this was all done for a reason, Clay, other than just your curiosity, right? What's the tie-in? Because we have a book here on set. Well, we are um, trying to uh, raise some money to feed children, and uh, I have a book on the internet, and it's available for free download, and part of this was making food fun and giving people an opportunity to actually eat, and that's, that's where it all comes from, mm -hmm. you know? So I figured we'd do something different and exciting and get some attention and see how it worked out, and it was really, really great and fun, and... And, and there we go, and here's the book. Yeah. Instant Love Machine is calling attention to Feed the Children International, which is a nonprofit, so that's pretty cool. Um, what I liked most in your video is when you're taking the still pictures and you guys are cutting into the steak, it says, meaty yum. It actually <laughs> came out. I was so impressed. I had to call him up, Chris, and I was like, is this for real? I mean, really, is it for real? Mm. But yeah. And, and yeah. you did this earlier in the month. Uh, on the 10th, I, I believe it yeah. was. Yes, yes. So the best advice, look for it when it's at least 110 degrees outside. The temperature in your car can get up to 100 and... 190 sometimes. 190. Yeah. So. So that's, yeah. Okay. What are you going to do next? I, how, how do you top this? Do you, do you bake a souffle in the trunk? <laughs> what, do you do, what do you do next? I'm taking requests. So. <laughs> there, there's mine. <laughs> Thank you very Clay, much. Thanks so much for coming. Thank Clay. you for that. And you we put me. a link to uh, his YouTube video on our website. Go to kpho.com and click the morning show news link. It's and, pretty funny. And again, to watch. the book is Instant Love Machine. Instantlovemachine.com. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, thanks a lot, Clay. Appreciate it.